Can the newer Fifine K690 USB condenser microphone take down the legendary Blue Yeti as being one of the best USB condenser microphones you can get on the market today? I don't know, but we're gonna find out in this video and put these guys head to head to see which one is better, but also to take a look at this mic to see whether it's potentially something you should add to your streaming setup. Guys, before we jump into this head-to-head -head review, I do want to say a huge thank you to a sponsor that we all know and love here on the YouTube channel, Placeit.net. Placeit has thousands of mock-ups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a monthly or yearly subscription to place it and get unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. Again, massive thank you to Place It for sponsoring these videos and this YouTube channel. We couldn't do it without you guys. And uh, link in the description of this video if you want to save 15% off. It's an awesome deal and you can get all your graphics taken care of for literally one of the cheapest prices around. Now the question is, is the Fifine K690 a USB microphone you should be considering? And I have never actually tested this microphone out until now. We're going to be testing it today and I'll be listening back to our tests that we run and then we'll discover together whether it can hold up against something like a Blue Yeti, which has been a staple in streaming and content creation for years. This microphone has been around for a long time and people are still using it to this day. But Five Fine came out with a mic that is a little bit smaller. Let me hold these up here. It's a little bit smaller than the Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti's kind of big. So look at the size difference there. A little bit smaller, has a lot of the same features, and actually has a little bit more that comes in the box. So we're going to go through that. I'll show you guys this, and then we'll see how this sounds, and then we'll throw in the Blue Yeti for a little comparison. So guys, I unboxed this microphone today, and as I was unboxing it, I noticed a couple of things in the box. First of all, the box is really well packaged. It's a nice, simple design. And between the box that the Fifine K690 came in and the Blue Yeti, I much prefer the Fifine's box just because it's much easier to get everything out and it's packed much better. It also has this really nice foam instead of styrofoam, which um, I prefer. But in the box, you're gonna get a little um, attachment right here. And this allows you to attach it to a regular boom arm or a mic stand of some sort. And then this end right up here is what goes into the microphone. Now what's cool about this little, this little attachment that we pulled out of the box is that the Blue Yeti doesn't have this. This this Fifine does have this, but the Blue Yeti doesn't have anything like this. The Blue Yeti has this larger thread right here, and this is what you would put on like a boom arm or a mic arm. But on most like mic arms like this, like the Rode uh, mic arm that I'm using right here, the PSA01 or something like that, this one has a smaller thread size. So you would actually need an adapter. You would need an adapter kind of like this one that comes in the box for the Fifine for the Blue Yeti anyway, because it's gonna need this much bigger, much bigger thread size. So with that being said, the Blue Yeti doesn't have that. This is already a leg up for the Fifine because they do include an adapter in the box and it is a metal. It's actually got two different adapters. Uh, you've got this interior metal one right here for a smaller attachment and then you can unscrew that out of there and, and have one for the bigger boom arm attachment like the Blue Yeti uses. You get that in the box, you also get yourself a USB cord, the exact same USB cord as the one that comes with the Blue Yeti. There it is right there, you get this nice Velcro strap around the middle for the Fifine cord. The Fifine's cord actually beats out the Blue Yeti's cord as well as far as quality. Uh, the other thing I noticed about the Fifine cord is that the 
the little plates, these are actually metal. But with the blue Yeti, you get plastic. We're gonna give a point to Five Find for what comes in the box. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that comes on the Five Find microphone, and we're gonna compare it to what you have on the Blue Yeti as far as features. That way, we'll kind of know where we stand on both, and then we'll be able to test these features out and see which sounds better for which mic. With the Five Find, this is the black edition right here that you've got your Five Find logo up there. You have a little light here, a little LED light that's gonna light up and show you, you know, when you're, uh, when you're recording or when you're muted. You have a dedicated mute button right here, which has a pretty Pretty nice clicky tactile feel it also has a dedicated headphone volume so that whatever you're monitoring out of this microphone you also on the very bottom so you've got your headphone out jack right here and then you've got your USB port and of course the attachment for you know a boom arm or a mic arm of some sort on the back we're gonna turn this thing around and you have your mic's actual output volume so this controls the volume from your mic to your computer how loud the mic actually is you can turn that up or down and then you have your different polar patterns and so you can actually change if you look right here you can change how the mic operates whether you have a cardioid polar pattern whether you have like an omnidirectional you know all the way around the microphone uh, if you want to use it for like an interview or some kind of like uh, you know multi-person setup with one microphone uh, you got a couple different options here and they'll go through that in the instructions your knobs are plastic on the front and the back uh, even the little clicky button here is plastic the knobs on the side to control like the the microphone's tension from going forward and backward these are plastic as well the stand is metal this stands knobs right here attach they go they screw through the, the stand here into the microphone and there's a little rubber buffer between the two this rubber buffer actually holds the microphone when you take this off of the stand itself and you put it on like a, a boom arm or something when i took it off i just unscrewed these pulled the microphone out but even when i unscrewed these two things the microphone was still in the stand and i had to pull it out from these two rubber things that were holding it in place the problem i've always had with the blue yeti is when i take it off of the stand let me show you here it's got these plastic knobs and then it's got this little plastic insert this is not rubber this is plastic that goes between the two and that plastic insert actually is loose and so is this knob and so are two little washers in between this knob and the stand so when you take this off of the stand you actually have all these tiny little parts that you have to somehow keep together and when you want to put it back on there you've got to put the knob through the through the plastic part um, you've actually got to put it through the plastic part and then put the blue yeti in there and then screw it in it actually just kind of is cumbersome to be honest but with the five fine in their design they've got these cool little rubber attachments here on the sides and those will hold the microphone in place even if you take these knobs off and the, the rubber is attached to the stand so when i took the the microphone out of the stand all i had were these two little knobs and then the stand itself and the microphone not a bunch of little washers and little pieces now the difference between the two is that eventually rubber does wear down so i don't know over time whether this is going to start to disintegrate in in some years or something but between the two, I prefer this stand as well because it's much easier to take on and off. And the microphone itself is metal with a metal grill at the top as well. So all of the rest of the mic is metal except for the buttons. That's everything on the Five Fine. Very nice, clean, sleek looking. Got that, that stealth black going on. And the Five Fine logo is not too like in your face. It's kind of a gray, so it kind of blends in a little bit better. But there's the Five Fine. Now, to show you comparatively to the Blue Yeti, these microphones are very similar because the Blue Yeti also has its logo right here on the front this is the silver blue yeti you can also get the blue yeti in a stealth black if you want uh but they've got their logo a little bit more in your face right there their mute button uh is also the light so when you press this which has a lot less it's got lost a, a lot less of like a prominent click it's it's a much clickier button as far as sound but the actual like press itself uh you kind of press it and the first time you press it you're like wait did i hit that so when you press this the the Blue Yeti's light is going to start flashing, showing you that it's muted. So instead of having a separate light like the Five Fine, it's got it built in. And then it's got your headphone volume control right here, which actually does not feel as smooth as the Five Fine. The Five Fine's volume control is a lot smoother when you're turning it up and down. We'll go right here to the bottom of the microphone. The Blue Yeti has, of course, the headphone output that you listen to. So you can monitor your audio from the computer and from your voice going into the mic. Uh, it's got your USB. 
uh, output right here. And then it also has its threaded adapter right here for mounting this on a boom arm or a mic arm of some sort. There's the back. And then on the back side of the Blue Yeti, you have yourself your gain knob. So you can turn up the volume of the mic's output, which this one actually feels really nice and smooth. Um, they are a little bit shorter as far as like height off of the, the, the microphone itself. Those, uh, those are shorter than the five finds. And so they've got the same type of polar patterns right there. Uh, both microphones have four polar patterns. I believe they're the same ones. Um, but that's what you have on the back of the microphone. And then, of course, uh, the Blue Yeti itself, the, the mic itself is metal. This is metal right here. The grill is metal up top. Uh, this plastic or this um, shiny ring around it is actually plastic. These knobs are plastic and the stand is metal. They're pretty much exactly the same as far as features and layout and even construction quality, um, except for this volume knob in the front of the Blue Yeti. It kind of grinds on the, the mic itself when you're turning it up and down, but using this Five Fine, it's quiet. It's completely quiet. It's smooth. Five Fine wins a point on that knob as well. Everything else is exactly the same. So um, the, uh, the other big thing though to note guys is that as far as like compact size and stuff, the Five Fine wins that as well because the Blue Yeti is massive now this can be a pro and a con because the five find can be easier to take with you places it sits a little bit less uh prominent on your desk but the difference is if you're not using a boom arm or a mic arm of some sort the blue yeti actually wins because the stand is much higher and the microphone is much longer so it's actually going to get the, the microphone which both of these mics are, are going to be front address microphones so you're gonna talk right into the front of this mic where the logo is. You're gonna talk right here, not in the top. You don't wanna talk into the top. You wanna to talk right here into the front. And the same thing with the Blue Yeti. You talk right into the front of the Blue Yeti right there. So uh, both of these mics are front address microphones. People often talk into the top of them, confusing it, thinking that, oh, that's how a microphone should look, but that's not how they work. Um, not these anyway. You can tell like if these were both in front of my mouth, which one's gonna be closer? I mean, it's it's the Blue Yeti, like hands down. You know what I mean? So um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and plug these things in. We're gonna test them out sitting on the desk like you would if you were uh, using them just the way they come. And then we're also going to add them to a boom arm and see what they sound like right in front of your face. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna play guitar in front of both of these microphones so you can see what both mics sound like with guitar. Then we'll just go back and listen to it and see what we think. I have in the past put effects within OBS on microphones when we've tested them. But today I think we're gonna go with the raw sound right out of the microphone. And then if you wanna play around with different effects on OBS, you know, gain or compression or that sort of thing, then you're more than welcome to do so. But these mics are gonna sound great just as they are. And so we're going to uh, hear them kind of in their natural state and see which one sounds better that way. Can the Five Fine K690 take down the legendary Blue Yeti in a head-to-head -head audio comparison? Can the Five Fine K690 take down the legendary Blue Yeti in a head-to-head -head audio comparison? Can the Five Fine K690 take down the legendary Blue Yeti in a head-to-head -head audio comparison? Can the Five Fine K690 take down the legendary Blue Yeti in a head-to-head -head audio comparison? Can the Five Fine K690 take down the legendary Blue Yeti in a head-to-head -head audio comparison? Can the Five Fine K690 take down the legendary Blue Yeti in a head-to-head -head audio comparison? So I just got done listening to the Five Find versus the Blue Yeti, and I'm actually surprised by the results. First of all, the Blue Yeti is a legend. It has been around for a long time. It set the standard for USB microphones, and it's had such a great sound, as you just heard, that it's been hard to beat. But I'm very impressed with the Five Find. In fact, I will tell you, after listening back multiple times to both of these mics, the Five Find, in my opinion, actually has a somewhat smoother response. The Blue Yeti has somewhat more of a, I, I would say, a, a natural room sound, or it picks up more of the room. But because of the way that they've tuned the Five Find, it actually has a richer, smoother 
sound to it than the Blue Yeti does in just little tiny nuances. The way that the bass sometimes overloads when the Blue Yeti, for instance, is having a guitar played into it versus the Fi Fine keeping it pretty even across the board. And also the way my voice sounds when these are on a boom arm, I really enjoyed the Fi Fine's richness versus the Blue Yeti, even though I still love the Blue Yeti. In fact, this has been my number one recommendation for years. But the Fi Fine may actually take over as the recommended microphone for people for a couple of different reasons. So I'm gonna tell you about those and, uh, and then we'll talk about which one you should be buying. One of the things I wanted to show you guys is the way that these microphones look on my desk. Let me push this microphone out of the way and I'll, I'll show you. I set them both down on the desk. You can see the Blue Yeti because it's so tall but you can't see the Fi Fine because it's so much shorter. In fact, that difference we were talking about earlier, it's noticeable in the camera. The Fi Fine is right here, the Blue Yeti is in the shot. So even though this is shorter, and even though it was out of the frame, the Fi Fine still sounded fantastic. Now when it was sitting on the desk, you could pick up more of the room sound, the, the echoes and the, the reverberation of my voice off the walls. But if I was to throw up a few acoustic panels, some foam panels and cut down on that, that slight echo in this room, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. And both microphones sounded fantastic. Now I will say the Blue Yeti's gain is a little higher than the Fi Fine. I had to have the Fi Fine up just a little bit higher to uh, pick up my voice when it was sitting on the desk versus the Blue Yeti, which was almost all the way down and it was picking it up loud and clear. So the Blue Yeti has a lot of headroom for gain, whereas the Fi Fine, it still has a ton of headroom, but it needed a little bit of a boost. I will tell you though, that that little bit of a boost didn't affect the actual noise of each microphone as far as the room. Like a lot of times microphones will have a lot of extra room noise when they're turned up a little higher. In this case though, the Fi Fine is not turned up very much at all. In fact, I'll show you where I had it. This is where I had it right there. And the Blue Yeti was almost all the way down. So a little bit of a difference in gain, but I still have plenty of headroom on the Fi Fine. It's really not that big of a deal at all because you have plenty of room to turn this thing up and they both are very quiet uh, for being condenser microphones. In fact, once we put these microphones on the boom arm, you could hear when they got close to my, my actual mouth, there wasn't as much room noise and they were a lot clearer and more present. Now I will say the Blue Yeti, I felt like had a little bit more of an issue with plosives or that popping sound when I was saying certain things, but also the Blue Yeti, uh, I don't know what it was. It just, it, it had more of a, maybe a, a present tone versus the rich tone of the Fi Fine. I actually kind of preferred the Fi Fine and I, I, I'm surprised to say that because I kind of thought that the Blue Yeti was gonna win because I've always loved the Blue Yeti. We were testing both of these mics on the same polar pattern. So you'll notice on the Blue Yeti, we had it set to that upside down heart looking polar pattern, right? And same thing with this one. We had them set to the exact same polar pattern, that kind of uh, upside down heart shaped polar pattern. It makes the front of the microphone active. It cuts out the back of the microphone so you're not getting as much echo. So we tested it on the best sounding polar pattern. And I, instead of going through each one, I just figured let's show you what they can sound like at their best. And then, um, you know, if we need to go in more depth, let me know in the comments and we can always do more of a in-depth review of each polar pattern, I guess. But I will tell you this, between the two, the Fi Fine might be the winner and let me show you why. Okay, so here we are on Amazon and as of the recording date of this video, the Blue Yeti in the same black color as the Fi Fine is running for $117.48 and it's actually marked down from $129.99. Now, if you wanted the silver one like the one that I've been using in this video, that one is actually still $129.99. But for the sake of keeping these as close to as possible to each other as far as looks and everything else, we'll go with the black one at 117.48. That's the cheapest, the cheapest version of the Blue Yeti. If we take a look on Amazon at the fine the Fi Fine USB microphone, it is running for a mere $79.99. Now this is incredible because this is the normal price. It's not even marked down. If this gets marked down, it would come down even lower than that. But the Blue Yeti, even marked down, is $117 right now. Whereas the Fi Fine is $79.99, so 80 bucks. You are literally saving money and getting a microphone that not only um, can hold its own against the Blue Yeti, but in some respects actually sounds a little bit better. And I think it's kind of the winner for me. And I love the Blue Yeti still, and I still highly recommend it. But with that type of price difference, it's really hard to suggest a Blue Yeti over a Fi Fine that uh, is 80 
bucks. If you have a blue Yeti, there's no reason to buy a Fifine, but I will tell you, if you're looking at a USB microphone and you want something that has the different polar pattern options, the mute button on it, and things like that, that has a good solid metal construction, and you're not sure what way to go, I would really honestly consider this Fifine K690 microphone. It is fantastic. Those are the thoughts that I have about it. Let me know what you thought of these two microphones and whether you're going to look at one of the two or if you're looking at a completely different one. There's a lot of USB condenser microphones on the market today. And if you like this video, guys, don't forget to smack that thumbs up button to help get this video out to as many people as possible. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell to see when videos like this go live. In addition to that, I am a live streamer on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. So if you want to come swing by and hang out with us and uh, talk shop about streaming about streaming equipment microphones anything like that swing on by twitch.tv slash eagle garrett like i said we'd love to have you over there we also have an awesome discord that i want to tell you guys about at discord.gg slash flock so jump on in there come join us we'd love to have you over 20,000 members of our discord so a pretty big group of people all content creators gamers streamers and uh you know just a great community also in addition to all that, you can find me uh, on my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of good stuff, even on TikTok these days. So uh, anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think, guys. Really appreciate you all. As always, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Rock on. Peace out. God bless. And last but not least. Am I just injecting self res? Oh my gosh, bro! Triple kill.